Say you have the sum of two operators, so a plus b, and you raise the result to the power of two, then you might be very tempted to write down something like this, inspired by basic algebra. Now the question is here, pause the video and think very carefully under which circumstances are you allowed to write down that result here on the right hand side when we're dealing with operators as opposed to with just boring scalar numbers. Okay, let's see what we mean by raising an operator to a certain power. So if we have a plus b squared, by definition, that means applying the operator twice. So we can write this as a plus b times a plus b. These operators are linear. So this means we can linearly expand this, this product here. So firstly, we have this guy which is applying the operator a twice, okay? Then we have that guy, which will basically be first operating with b and then operating with a. And the way that's written is a b, of course, because remember these operators evaluate from right to left, because this is the first operator that a function here on the right-hand side will encounter. And then thirdly, we have BA, which means first operating with A and then with B. And then, of course, we have BB. Now, operating with A twice, that we can write as A squared. Operating with B twice, we can write that as B squared. That's no big deal. But we can only write here that this is equal to 2AB if we have the situation that the order in which you apply these operators doesn't really matter. Or, to put it in a more fancy uh, code, is that the commutator between these two operators is zero. So only if that's the case, then you can simplify this expression to give us this more familiar looking result of the square of uh, this a plus b. This goes back a little bit to an exercise that we had in the chapter on Hermit polynomials, because there we were also looking at sum of operators raised to a certain power. We had there that 2x minus d dx raised to a power n. And if we had that operator operating upon the constant 1, that the end result was the Hermit polynomial of order n. And also here, you needed to be very careful to take into account that ab is not equal to ba. Likewise, these two operators, x and d dx, they don't commute, as you know from a previous exercise. So you have to be a bit more careful there.